Welcome back boys and girls, it's your boy Kieran from Rummage Round and in today's video we are going to go sourcing. What a flipping surprise Kieran. Kieran going sourcing. Yeah, we're going to hit the charity shops again here in Spalding. Got a very good feeling about today. We should pick up some nice bits and pieces. The car boots are still not on around my area. I say still, but it's like probably like winter, January time before this video goes out. Knowing me, it'll probably come out in two years time. But anyway, hopefully we do pick up some absolute rocket things, beautiful bish bash bosh items. And without further ado, please do smash that like button. Let's please, please, please aim for about 75 likes. That'll be all right, won't it? It really does help with the channel, pushes the video up there and really does help me out. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you do enjoy today's video. Let me know down in the comment section below if I do miss anything. Probably do miss a lot of things really. Sometimes I just get a bit overwhelmed and I just go straight to what I know. This video is sponsored by Levi's. It's really not, but if Levi's do want to sponsor me, then yeah, hit me up. I do sell a lot of, uh, well, I used to sell a lot of Levi's until I decided that there just isn't much profit left in them. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you do enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's get into the charity shops. So we are back from the charity shops here in Spalding and we did pick up some absolute beautiful items today. Not so much clothing and footwear, which makes a nice surprise and a nice difference, but we did pick up some really cool pieces. So before we do get in the haul, guys, please hit that like button. Uh, it honestly does mean the world to me. And yeah, let's get into the haul. So the first item I am going to show you is this IKEA plush. Believe it or not, there is actually a fairly decent market for IKEA plushes. This is the Jatalik. Is that how you spell it? Jatalik 
paid £2, but should be able to get an easy £15 back from him. Just a T-Rex brown. So yeah, do keep an eye out for your IKEA plushes. There's, there's some sort of weird and wonderful collection. I don't know why people pick them up. I don't know why people collect them. But yeah, definitely be on the lookout for the IKEA plushes. Uh, the dinosaurs are probably the least collectibles. I think some of the dolphins and some of the sharks and stuff can go for a really, really nice amount of money. So yeah, definitely guys, do keep an eye out for IKEA plushes. And sticking with the dinosaur theme, we picked up this Godzilla 2019 Jacks Pacific. Absolutely humongous piece of, well, piece of plastic really. It's huge. I don't know if he's supposed to be making any noises whatsoever. His tail does sort of move, which indicates it might have a voice box, unless it's just what it's supposed to do. I have absolutely no idea. Need to do a little bit more research, but look how meaty and mean he looks. For plastic toy, he looks absolutely terrifying. Paid a whopping £4.50. If you can see that, I'm not sure, because the sun is absolutely beaming down here in Spalding today. But my money is 155,000% safe because this should command an easy, peasy, lemon squeezy, 35 pound. Look at how terrifying this guy really is. He kind of, no, he doesn't look like me at all, but yeah, hey, uh, £4.50 into 35 plus a little bit of postage. We'll definitely be taking that one today. Look at the flipping scariness of this geezer. This geezer is gonna eat you alive. I lied. We actually did pick up a couple pieces of clothing. We picked up this beautiful Berghaus size medium fleece gilet. Nothing to really rave about. We've got a nice Berghaus hit on the top of the neck at the back. Paid five pound and 50 pence and should be a comfortable 22 to 25 pound. Really nice condition. Really, really collectible. People love wearing burg houses around here. You know, farming, sort of outdoor working, keeps yourself warm in the summer and in the early spring. So this will fly out for about the 23 pound. Just check the zippers when you do buy clothing, obviously guys, just make sure the zips work. This is absolutely perfect. No rips, no tears, doesn't smell and should sell for around about the 23 pound mark. We then picked up this blush. We picked up a cinder quill from the Pokemon Tomy. Nothing to really rave about here. It's only about six inches, maybe five and a half inch tall. And you'll be looking at a comfortable 15 to 17 pound for this little geezer. Probably 15 pound to be fair. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. It's no sort of like marks or pen marks or anything like that. The tail's pretty, pretty cool. Look how cool that is. It just looks a really nice plush. Should be a comfortable 15 pound and only had to pay one pound and 50 pence, which again, you probably ain't gonna see because the sun is absolutely shining down on this beautiful plush. Such a beautiful day out there and I'm stuck indoors listing plushes. What has my life come to? But yeah, should be a comfortable 15 pound for this little geezer. Really, really, really happy. We then picked up this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful condition bop it. Tested and working. High. Can you sell? Medium. medium. High. Low. Medium. High. Tested and working. Bop, it Yolo. works. We're Deep not gonna. Yeah. Okay, shush. All right, shush, mate. Don't be taking the star of the, of the flipping video. We uh, paid four pound. Normally, I wouldn't pay four pound for boppets, but they do tend to fly, especially over at Christmas, for around about the twenty to twenty-five pound mark. Nice and easy bread and butter item. Should sell pretty quickly. It's pretty, pretty goddamn clean. Tested and working. I can literally list that straight away and should be listing it around about the £25 mark. Especially now we're into Q4. So I need to get it listed ASAP Rocky and try and sell it before Christmas Day. Well, probably a, maybe just before Christmas Day would be uh, would be ideal. But they do fly out pretty comfortably and I sell probably about 10 to 12 of these a year and never really had a problem really selling these. Nice easy postage and packaging, small parcel, bish bash, flip him.
bosh. This is quite a nice uh, t-shirt. This is a size double XL. This is Bobcat. Bobcat is, I believe, an NFL or an INRL National Football League American team. It's got number 10 on the back. Double XL, really nice and thick. We've got a nice number 10 hit on the sleeve. And it should, hopefully, go for around about the 25 to maybe even £30 mark. But as you can see, it's in beautiful condition. Nice big size, nice long sleeve, nice blue. It's ticking all the right boxes. Bobcat is American. It should go for around about the 25 30 pound mark and only had to pay a whopping three whole squidaroonies and it should be a nice easy return it says this item has not been tested but you flick his leg and he makes a right racket this is a this Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Calm down, son. All right, I'm trying to record you. This is a dinosaur from from Jurassic World, as you can see by the paw print just here. That is the Jurassic World logo. Should be. Well, now I know it's testing and working. I would hope. Shush! I would hope around about the twenty to twenty-five pound mark. I need to do a little bit more research because. I haven't actually researched this whatsoever. I just brought it because I brought the Godzilla toy. Uh, £3.50p paid, testing and working. Should, I'll, I'll leave some screenshots around here, should be around about the £25 mark at a push. I don't know. Does it? He's one hell of a noisy bugger, and I just kind of want to get him sold. And the last item, but certainly not least, it's probably the best item of the day, is a sealed DVD. How flipping interesting, Kieran. However, hear me out. We paid a whopping £1 for a three-box set, Series 1, 2, and 3 of Little Britain. And believe it or not, guys, this is one hell of a bolo. This should be a nice, comfortable 40 to 45 maybe even pushing that £50 mark, brand new and sealed, Little Britain, I'm going to yeet this up on eBay ASAP Rocky straight after this video. And I'm hoping to get at least around the 40 to 45 pound mark. So guys, do keep an eye out for your brand new and sealed Little Britain series 1 to 3 on DVD. One pound into 45 pound. That, guys, is a bish, bash, bosh of an item. And that is the end of the hall. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, hamsters and guinea pigs, whoever you are watching this, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have been awesome. I've been awesome. Uh, no, you've been awesome. Uh, I've been awesome. And I'll see you very, very shortly for a brand new video. Guys, thank you so much for the support. A lot of you have reached out to me recently and I honestly mean it from the bottom of my heart. You guys are flipping awesome. I love every single one of you and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for everything and I'll see you soon. Boop.